Today's video is actually three shorter videos split up into different sections of one video, or as I like to call them, parts. Here's the first one. Enjoy! So I have a friend called Grace who works in social media at Disney, and this is the same Grace, by the way, who let me go to Pixar Animation Studios to meet the director of Toy Story 3 that one time. She's a good one, she is. I like her. Currently, she's trying to promote the new Muppet movie, bless her. Uh, and so she asked me how I would like it if she got the people who make the Muppets to make a Muppet version of me. And so now, I have this in my life. <laughs> I'm a Muppet. That's what they do, right? This is the official Charlie is so cool like Muppet, which, if I'm honest, doesn't really look much like me at all. Well, you don't really look much like me either. Ventriloquism there. One thing they did get right is the mole on his cheek. I do enjoy that quite a lot. But apart from that, I don't have orange skin, nor do I have ginger hair. And as far as I'm aware, I don't wear blue eyeshadow. Um, although the nose is pretty accurate because I do have a cold at the moment. I was actually thinking of getting him like a little skull t-shirt to wear so that it would be more obvious that we're meant to be the same person, but um, they didn't have one in your size, which he's um, obviously very sad about. As much as he doesn't look anything like me though, it is just really nice having a puppet. You know, I'm finally getting all of the affection that I crave. Some silly things that I've enjoyed making him do so far include, but are not limited to, getting him to hit himself in the head, making him pull this facial expression, and getting him to transition from normal to extremely shocked! In fact, when I'm not using him, he naturally has that really shocked expression on his face, which is great because it means that every single time I put him down on the floor, he looks like he's been murdered. Part two! It's time for another challenge, Charlie! I figured it was finally time for me to start learning how to ride this thing, my unicycle. This was a challenge submitted by 22JPO22, thanks JP. But this is probably going to be more of a unicycling part one, as I don't think it's likely that I'm actually going to be able to ride this thing by the end of today. Also, you might have noticed that I'm not wearing any safety equipment whatsoever, so if you would like to learn how to ride a unicycle, don't do it like this. Because I'm an idiot. The first step seems to be that you just get on the thing and try not to fall off. So let's do that. I don't know which side is the front and which side is the back. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, backwards is not as fun. Backwards is not as fun. Oh, I really wonder whose idea it was to make this stupid thing. Okay, I'm gonna come at you now, I think. Ah, ah! This is why you buy pads and stuff. I'm glad that I haven't gone face first yet, at least. I still don't know if I'm sitting on it the right way around or not. Yeah! Oh. oh. <laughs> Part three. We're a good couple of weeks into January now, and so it's been long enough that everybody else has already made their videos about their New Year's resolutions. But even though I am a little bit late, I still would like to share my resolutions with you because A, I've actually been sticking to them so far this year, so that's good. And B, there is one of them in particular that I'm just really excited just to tell you about. I have three. The first one is just get healthy, lol, because I did find myself with a little podge belly after Christmas this year. My second resolution's a bit better. It's just do more nice things for other people, because I felt like I was focusing a bit too much on myself and making choices that just made me happy, and I wanted to make other people happy, because I'm only one person and other people are billions, so they are more important. But my final resolution, the one that I'm really excited about, is that this year I decided that I was going to write a feature film. Not because anyone's told me to, just because that's what I want to do. It might seem a bit crazy, because I've never actually written anything that's lasted longer than about five minutes before, and a film is 90 minutes long, at least. But I started just a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just enjoying myself so much. I'm not going to tell you what it's about, because hopefully you'll find out when the film gets made, which is definitely a thing that's going to happen. It is possible, I guess, that it might just be completely rubbish, but I'm having fun, and I wanted to tell you that that was what I was doing this year. That's the end of part three, which coincidentally is also the end of the video. Uh, you've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool-like, which makes you like cool. As much, um, oh god, you and your stupid stick, man. Ow! Sorry.